thank you so much atul for joining today and i appreciate the time and efforts you are giving for us and uh, i really appreciate i see you are not uh, uh, you know quite well but still uh, you are up and uh, giving time and energy to our uh, you know viewers thank you so much thank you mehendra thank you so much hi everyone good morning good afternoon good evening jahan se bhi aap sun rahe hain from where you are at point of time hope you are doing good and well please pardon me regarding my thought it's little bad again when you have a kid at home you have sausages you have um, pastas at together with the cold drink and it's all gone now no problem yes i'm in the over to you now <clears throat> yeah thank you so much uh, so quickly let's start with the very first function or sorry first question uh, uh, so it is uh, regarding techno functional role so can you please mm-hmm. provide a brief about this role what is techno functional role and one organizational example so that everyone understand okay this is the uh, the stuff which we are talking about regarding the techno functional role before we start this question let's go to our rituals again i guess you missed out okay. my uh, previous <laughs> one okay yeah sure, sure no problem let's uh, pray so, for a few so, seconds yes let's pray for a few seconds and then we'll start the session sure sure okay yeah so i mean your question says that what is techno functional role actually yeah okay if i speak from my perspective there is no role called the techno functional actually okay you will say atul but you always say techno functional you are working as a techno functional if i say this this term has been created by me only okay as per my understanding okay because either you will find a functional guy either if i like technical guy but you never find a techno functional guy okay how how this term come in my mind because when i take my first service not training batch i train my candidates on the basis of functional plus technical part okay so so when this techno functional term come in the picture generally the question come how you can say it's a techno functional part according to me according to my views if i say techno functional means a person who know the technical stuff maybe it is not required that you need to be write a code you need to build a code you need to be define a lot of things in the technical term but he or she can understand the technical terms so like if i if i talk about the service no perspective do you know flows do you know integration do you know uh, apis do you know rest do you know soap do you know sla do you know notification if you know these things from the technical perspective that how this can be defined how this can be triggered how this functionally working in the background is called a technical part means when we when we say that all the relationship between technically t- things is there then we call it a technical functional means to understand that how functionally it work actually all together means if i click on one button by clicking on that one button how the things move forward in that particular part so this, again i am coming to that point this techno functional is nothing but it is something a person or the user who know that how functionally a thing work and how technically they are connected with each other now if i come to the example on this particular part yeah in the industry there's a lot of people working okay generally when i when i go for the uh, guest lectures in the colleges or universities as well i always ask what you want to become someone say i want to become developer someone say i want to become tester someone say i want to become architect kind of things but i say i want to become a techno functional guy okay in the in the industry why this techno functional term is there because if i go and speak to my customer i can't use a technical jargon so so let's say if you want to renovate your house okay if that person come to your home and start talking about the all technical terms so can you do this x y z color on this particular part and the on this particular plate you can do this thing you will get confused what you will say boss my simple requirement is that i want to renovate my house on the two walls i want a yellow color on the top i want a white color on that side i want a black color okay this is called the functional part so functional means when i go to my customer understand their words understand their problem statement in their own language is called the functional part and when i okay. convert that what i can when i convert that terms 
in the technical part then it become the technical technical uh, technical part so let me give example let's say i went to a customer and he says atul i need a form where i can record the incidents okay, okay. my user is able to see all the records uh, all the information about the incident i said what do you need my user should be able to see the name email id incident record number assignment group all the things will be there and i need a button as well okay now if you start using that button as a ui action customer will get confused that's very much clear customer will get confused so functionally i i understand that customer need a form on the form he need a button now when i need to be go back to my technical team and say boss what they need what i'll say that my customer need a form on that form they need a, these many fields and a ui action when i go back to my technical team i will not say that they need a button but i will say that customer need a form on the form they need these many attributes these many dictionary entries and they need one ui action okay now if i convert this example a little bit more on the bigger size okay customer says i want to be implement itsl i want to be implement it i want to be implement grc or psychops kind of things okay now you and me know that in the technical languages itsm is very big a lot of things are there okay now one more thing that <coughs> customers are also getting mature now okay they start using the technical terms with you but but if you say implementation means for me customer want incident change problem request and knowledge but in the background how these things work like what incident what change what problem what workflow what flow what notification sla that become a technical part because customer says if you click on this button i need a notification as well i need even not a notification i need a email notification is a technical term in notification is a technical term in our service not domain okay i need an email so what i will what i will do i will understand their pain area and then i'll convert them in a technical part is called the techno functional again i'm saying this term is generated by me it's not as such a kind of a market term i can say very clearly on this particular part but yes if you are a techno functional guy you need to be do both the things in the parallel manner <clears throat> so you are saying that it is more beneficial for someone let's see. say uh, there is a technical architect or a person who is good in uh, coding so if he understands right. the functional <clears throat> part it will be more beneficial for them going forward right right i i tell you that why this is important as well earlier what happened when i was a pure functional guy pure functional guy i go to that go to my developer and they say atul we need 3 days to develop this today okay because i was not about the technical terms but when i start building my technical term logics as well building my technical sales skill as well now i am able to question that by 3 days you can use ui script you can, so you can use the ui policy you can use the client script it will be done in 2 days only so the another benefit is that if you know the technical things you are easily able to collaborate with the technical members as well you can participate in the technical discussions as well and you can put your thoughts as well because ultimately you are the one who are going to present this case to the business again that how this things working in the all together so that is the important and you point say that it is beneficial definitely if you have two okay. skills you will be extra extra in the in a group i can say right so the same right. way i can say maybe if you are more on the technical part no atul or maybe i can design the technical documents as, as well then definitely you can do on that part as well on, on that part so it is beneficial for you okay 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 great uh, so there is one more term known as bpc which uh, yes. i see you generally used so what is this bpc <laughs> business process consultant okay business process consultant is official term okay yeah. this is the term which is very famous in the service not domain specifically <clears throat> okay okay bpc is a word combination of three words business process and consultant okay if you ask me what is a bpc bp is the bpc is the person who is more on the process of the business side that how i can give a best and optimize process to my customers okay as a bpc i never worried about the solution i i worked with a lot of 
people who are more than 20 30 20 25 experience in working with service domain as a ppc for more than 10 12, 12 years okay when they go and talk to them they never about the, they never worried about the solution they always says atul let's see that how the process can be best optimized so now the question comes how or what is a ppc here for the bpc part for the ppc rule the first thing is important that you or we need to be understand the platform very clearly when i say platform is how the two modules are interrelated with each other okay that is important. so if i say omindra uh, you invited me at your home and say atul can you renovate my house i said definitely i can renovate your house okay without asking the question that is this two room are integrated with each other is there any pipeline is going in, the, in this these two rooms together or do we have any anything common in these two rooms if i did not ask these questions or if i don't know the architecture of this particular home i am not able to you know maybe i put some hammer on one wall and it impact on the other side as well which has been planned after two days or three days on, on that room right so this is what the bpc work here so now if i come in the service now domain if customer says i want to enhance the change management or I want to enhance the incident management, or I want to be include DevOps in the change management. Then before I say, yes, you can do, I have to be checked that if I introduce the DevOps, is it going to impact my incident as well? Is it going to by, by impact my CMDP as well? Again, I'm saying not technically, don't think that I'm going to talk about a database level. No, I need to be see that if this button has been clicked in the DevOps, how the change is going to be impact. Because it is a business process. So, so okay. if, I, if I give another example to you to understand more. Let's say you want to renovate your house. Okay. It is a peak February is going on. Your wife says, um, Omidra, let's um, do the all painting in the house. Omidra is a very good plan. But Omidra know that if I do the painting now, it will impact my kids as well because it is their examination time. Number one. Number two, it's going to impact you as well because it's a year end. You're working in a bank where the year end closing is there. So what you're doing, you're not uh, talking about the technical part because you're not going to do the renovation or the painting part. You are worried about the, if one thing has been changed or one thing has been added or removed or deleted or updated, how, how it is the users or the other work as well. This is what we or I as a business process consultant do. I need to be understand that how incident change or how ITSM and CSM are interrelated. If I make a change in the CSM level, is it going to impact on the ITSM level as well? <coughs> what customer need is the second part. How it can be done is a third part. But if I need to build this, how it is going to impact the things that is what I as a BPC do. Over to you, Mindra. Yeah. So uh, I understand your point. So how someone can uh, become a BPC? What is the steps he has to follow? Or what is the, you know, culture to be a BPC? Okay. If, again, um, a very, very, uh, very fantastic question this, but because the question comes, who can or how can it, anybody can become BPC? Again, I'll put my personal thoughts. Okay. No, no uh, manipulation on this particular part. According to me, if you want to become a BPC, you need to be understand the platform. Atul, when, when you say understand the platform, what this mean? Understand the platform is on a form level, you know that how the components are interrelated with each other. How a UI action is related with the related list and the other form level attributes. Okay. Because as I said, as I give an example, if you need to be do the renovation part. If you don't know the impact, then you can't do this part, right? Let's say like, I'm in a UK. Here, people do the whitewash by their own only. They don't invite the labor because it's a little costly as well. Okay. So they know that how the, what is the impact of that particular things in, in their part. So again, to become a BPC, I'll again, very clear on the part that you have to be clear on the rules level. I'll give an example. Yesterday, I was checking or day before yesterday, I was checking on the service now committee. Okay. There's a person who put a question. I want to add a approval in the incident management. 
ओके ओके गुड आई वॉज नॉट हैविंग आंसर बिकॉज आई नॉट अ टेक्निकल गाय ओके पीपल स्टार्ट पुटिंग द आंसर यू कैन यूज द फ्लो यू कैन यूज द वर्क फ्लो यू कैन यूज द बिजनेस फूल एवरीथिंग बट आई पुट अ क्वेश्चन Why you need approval in the incident management? Because an incident never have approval on the place. When you take approval from your manager to raise an incident, Generally this not. is what yeah. it's. It's never be a case, right? If you're going on a leave, definitely you can take. But if you want to be uh, fall sick, you can't have take. You never take approval from manager. Hey, I'm going to going to be sick now. Can can you give me approval so that I can go on a hundred percent sickness? <laughs> you will never take it. No. So this is what the BPC work to. because if your roots are very much clear on that particular part only then you can achieve that solution anybody can give people are giving a solution i'm happy on that particular part but the question is that why you need approval on the sustainable solution it means it should be a sustainable solution correct but but your roots should be very clear right. if you are using the wrong fundamental concept people generally this this happen in, in the community like If I if someone put a question, I put why you need it. It's a client requirement. Okay, I can understand it's a client requirement, but you have to be understand that you are service now experienced guy. You are service now consultant. If you go to doctor and say doctor give me a paras give me a antibiotic, he will never give the antibiotic until unless he will examine you properly, right? This is what he is doing the consulting. He will ask you okay what you have had. Yesterday, have you had any party? Have you had any, anything with the mixed school and hot together? Have you taken the bath in the late evenings? Have you go out and during the rain time, rainy rainy time? So he asks these questions. So as a BPC, if you want to become a BPC, please, please, please clear your fundamentals. That is very much important. If your fundamentals are clear, you can go straight forward and do the things. Second part, as a BPC, I always on the front end of the customer. that's very much important because i am the first phase of the customer technical team is the second phase i am the first phase for the customer customer asks atul can we do this thing i have to be see i have to be know that is it possible or not because now when we say you are a bpc it doesn't mean the technical when any technical question question come you say sorry i don't know no 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 this is not the case when you have a functionally fundamental clear see at point of time everybody in this world know how to play or how to use a mobile phone. let me ask question to you i mean do you read the user manual which come with your phone no never we, we never open it yeah we even <laughs> we even even know that it has a manual as well right right why because we know everything in the phone this is what the concern this is what the bpc do if you know well words with your platform then you can handle the things if something is not working in the phone i still see you never go in the user manual you always go in the internet and check it i give you an example last year i buy my first iphone okay don't say that i am very rich no i just buy a new iphone i was don't know or i i was not knowing that how to switch over iphone can you believe atul come on you are a mature guy 40 years old guy you know that how to switch off the phone Oh, I specifically I want. I was not aware about the same because I was not well versed on that platform. Now okay. as well in the iPhone, I don't know a lot of functions. I use iPhone only for the two purpose: to play music on the YouTube and to click the photograph. That's all. <laughs> Still, if you say, "Atul, can you do this thing? Can you do this thing?" I have no idea because I don't know the platform completely. And here. as a ppc you fail, you will fail down because if you don't know about the platform by by virtue i can say yes i have iphone oh my god atul you know you have iphone can you do this setting in the iphone sorry i have no idea the same case happen if customer says can you change in the incident management but if you don't know that how the incident management is been built or work in all together can't do the consulting on that particular part this is what the fundamental says here okay okay great Uh, so uh, what is the market of this bpc if we talk about service now how much clients are looking for bpcs any idea on that based it's on your talk say... based on our discussion i think it is very much important but uh, just wanted yes. to clear earlier what happened that there was no concept of the bpc actually because 
your technical leads or your architects or your developer leads work as a BPC. But then a research has been happened. Then a little problem statement has been come. Being a developer, if I have to do the consulting, then when I will do my own work? Mm, yeah. That is, see, that is important. You you have a kid, I have a kid. What we do? We open our laptop, we're doing our work. In the panel, we told to our kids, hey, bring your notebook and do your homework. Right? Or you do the homework for your kid. Right. Right. The same thing applicable here only. This is the fundamental question which you put that if everything has been done by the developer, then when he will do his work? Because developer is not meant for the consulting. Compounder is never meant for the surgeries. You right. always sit in the background to give the medicine which has been written by the doctor. Then this, this problem statement arises. It raises a lot of raise this, uh, this issue by a lot of companies. And then this role has been introduced called the BPC. That we need someone who know the platform functionally, who go and speak to the customer on that terms, and then bring the information and give to my technical team. Nowadays, almost every company, and you will surprise to know that I work with a client, they have a BPC for the different, different modules as well. So I was a BPC only for the change management. Okay. There is a person who is the BPC only for the incident management, only for the problem management. What this means that this guy is perfect in the change management about the consulting. If you have any question regarding the change management, its impact, its collaboration, its updates, its deletion, anything, this guy can help you in that particular part. So now, of if you that say, organization, yeah, of the yes, of that not organization even of that particular project only, I'm saying. Okay. I, I was I was supporting a telecom customer. In the telecom customer, only for the one team, there's five BPCs. One for change, okay. one for problem, one for request, because they don't want to be interfere. And everybody know I'm just I'm just talking about the IT system as of now. But if you think from the GRC, CSM, these are the very vast terminal, uh, vast I can say <laughs> module. So, so now there's huge demand, customer, I guess. Definitely, yes. There is a huge demand. But you can fulfill the demand only if you know the platform by heart. Again, I am putting the word or the line as a bottom. No need to become a technical. Understand the platform very completely. I work with a lot of people who just know the service now as a platform. And I ask that guy, hey, how we can do this? He simply gave me an answer. Atul, it's not my job. My job is to make sure that this thing has been optimized. I'll give to work to my technical team. They will do my work to give a proper good consulting to the customer. This is what the BPC is there. Now, if you see in India specifically, if a compounder, if a person working as a compounder for five years, eight years with a doctor, he start behaving like a doctor because he start understanding the terms functionally as well on that particular. Mm -hmm. Okay, but still you can't say it's a doctor. Because it's not a certified guy. Okay. But in the emergency, you can take help on the compounder as well. Okay. Give me some medicine. It can be done on that particular part. So yes, okay. there is a demand in the market at point of time for the BPCs. And also if I say demand, companies are looking for a BPC who has more than <laughs> two or three modules experience or the knowledge. ITSM is not going to work for anybody. Okay. Oh. Admin is not going to work for anybody. If you have admin, I trace them at least two more. Maybe CSM, maybe HRLD, maybe uh, maybe SecOps kind of things. Then it can work for you. But alone, I trace them is not going to work for you. Okay. Or do you, Mendel? Yeah. So definitely, whoever is listening to this podcast, now you understand the importance of BPC. And definitely, yes. there is a huge demand. And we can now analyze as well. As service now is progressing with uh, lots of lots of modules, definitely for each module <clears throat> we need BPCs because complexity is increasing. Right. So that's the processes. So thanks, True. great insight, uh, Atul. Uh, there is True one more word. term known as business analyst. Ah, so okay. Where it comes <clears throat> in this? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you pick up a term called the business analyst. If, if I say from experience perspective. <clears throat> Business analyst and the BPC are the two different roles. Okay. 
business analyst is a one level down than the bpc okay okay but 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 there is a very very thin line in between if if you go as per the books there is a book called the ba book b a b o k b a book okay this says that ba is someone who go and talk to the customer and understand their problem statements okay <clears throat> get the requirements not in the not even the problem statement get the requirements okay but okay. now i'll 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 bring the bpc word term here as well now the thing is that in the market there's a no demand of the ba in the service not domain everybody want that ba and bpc should work together and it can be one person only okay if i if i say um um, um omendra i want to um, uh, can you arrange a wedding at my place this is a very wed uh, wedding of my my uh, cousin if you know that how the wedding planner has been work or you already work as a wedding planner then you can do it yeah but if you don't know about this concept you can't work it same concept come here you know that how to gather the requirement atul kiski shaadi hai whose family is this who is the bride who is groom how many people are there You will ask mota mota five, seven, ten questions, but you will not ask the question on the platform level because you don't know about the platform here. So if you are working in the service not domain, then you must be a BA plus BPC. Okay. Now the question comes: What BA do? If again I go as per the book, BA is responsible, accountable mainly for the three activities. Okay. One is called the requirement elicitation. It's very fancy word. Elicitation is very fancy word in the layman language. Requirement gather. Okay. Okay. Now someone say elicit. <laughs> yes. Someone say elicitation. Someone say allocation. Different different ways to pronounce. Okay. So it's a very fancy word. Simple layman language. It's the meaning is that requirement gather. That's the number one part. Okay. Now how to gather the requirement? Multiple ways. You can read the documents. You can conduct the workshop. You can do the survey. You can do the observation kind of things. there is a first part that ba do okay now if you want to gather the requirement again i'm coming to the same point you need to understand the platform a customer if if company says okay omendra go yeah. and get a requirement from the customer for the change management if omendra don't know that what is change management then what question will omendra will ask yeah makes him two questions okay what do you want to be doing the change management i want this 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 is i want this 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 is sorry I don't know about this approval. I don't know about the workflow because you don't know about the platform actually. Okay, so even though you are BA, but your PC part, process consulting part is must. Say. Okay, there is a first part for a for a BA that you need to be get the requirement. Second part to document that requirements. Okay, even though I am I am working as a I say that I am working as a BPC, but I am working as a BPC come BA. If I go to my customer, I do the cons process consulting. I have to be get the requirement, and then I I note down the requirement in the form of the stories. This is what the BA do. That okay. you have these many these you, I'll break that particular requirement into different 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 small small chunks and call them as a story in the agile format. Okay, so I document that particular requirements. That's the second part. Okay. Now third part come. Where either you are a BA or BPC, you need a requirement assessment and validation. For this part, you need to be go to the technical team. Again, here is a catch: if you are well versed in the change, let's say, as as I work for the, I work as a change manager for two years in a company. I work as a change BPC as well for one and a half year for a client as well. Okay. and change is very very loving part for me i i think in our previous podcast i said that change is one of the favorite topic for me always okay so now if customer says atul i want these 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 changes in the change management because i work in the change so i said yes this can be done this can be done this can be done this can be done no this cannot be done i will not go to my technical team because i know this cannot be done at all okay so this is what the third point says if i stuck it can be done it cannot be done then i go to my technical team to understand that particular point okay you so ba is mainly is a skill which help you that how to gather the requirement 
मे भी आपको लग रहा होगा और यूर स्पेस फीलिंग लाइक तुम रिक्वायरमेंट कह देंगे कोई भी कर लेगा एनीबडी कैन डू द रिक्वायरमेंट कह देगा वो तो मैं भी कर दूंगा बट डू थिंक दैट इट कैन बी डन बाय दैट वे इफ इट कैन बी डन बाय एनीबडी देन व्हाई वी हैव स्पेसिफिक स्किल सेट फॉर द बीए बिकॉज़ देयर आर डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स व्हिच हेल्प यू टू बिकम अ गुड बीए इन इन आवर बीए वर्ल्ड इट इज इट इज वेल सेट लिसन मोर आस्क लेस डोंट अज्यूम एनीथिंग Hmm. Okay. Even though, even though I know this can be done by this, but still I ask, hey, are you sure that by clicking this button you need this option? Because I know customers think yes, it is the only solution, but I am not assuming in anything. To conduct the workshops, to gather the requirement, to mm-hmm. understand the stakeholder, this is what the BA domain teaches you. That what do you mean by the stakeholder understanding? I was doing a podcast with Kelly uh, on the last okay. week. So we are in the last question. We we on something on similar points. Now, if I say, okay, Omid, you are having a good experience, fifteen, sixteen years experience in the in the market now. <laughs> okay, I send you to the customer side. Okay, in the customer side, total six people are there. So what we do first of all, or let's say, you are invited for a marriage. Okay. When you reach to the marriage after giving the gifts and all the things, what is the first thought in your mind? Is anybody is known to us is around here? Is what the food will ask the first? You will think about the first thing that is anybody I know here? Because you have to have your own person. Why? Why you need a person like this? Because that person is the favorable person for you. This is what. the stakeholder thing you have to be understand okay, okay. like like when i go to school with my kid he not he is not interested to be see that who is in my class he is interested to see that to whom i know he is there or not this is what the stakeholder management if you know your customer sorry if you know your stakeholders well in advance then it is easy for your work i give the i give the live i give the actual examples for this particular things okay when we go for the and and now it is not a bad thing as well now what happen when any client on board me or i know that i'm going to work with this person we go and we must visit the each other linkedin profile as well see that from where which background this person is coming oh he okay. worked for the developer for the 9 years Work in the design for the two years. He is doing the consulting for the five years. He work in these 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 companies. So that will give you mindset that this person. It is not easy to make a fool of that person because he is a technical guy as well. Okay, this is important for the BA. That is why I am saying that people say, "Atul, karte kya ho din par me? Requirement hai to me bhi kar lunga." If it is that much easy, then anybody can do. It mm. is not that much easy actually. Mm. It is a complete. Complete life cycle. It is a complete environment. You have to be understand. Okay, I give you one more example. Now it is what happened that if any company want to hire you, okay, they schedule your interview, and they send your profile to the person and with your LinkedIn ID as well, so that that person can visit your LinkedIn ID, and they ask you as well. This is the person who is going to take your interview, so that you also can visit the ID, but LinkedIn ID. Why it is with there? I tell you the I tell you my actual example. So I appeared yeah. for one of the interview. Okay. Before the interview, I go through the LinkedIn profile. That person also visited my LinkedIn profile. So there, how the discussion started? Hey, you work in that project. I also there. What you did in the project? I said I did these 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 things. Okay, interview done. Because he know that he work in that project. He work in that particular part. He know everything. Done my interview. This is what. the benefit of this and this is what we call as a stakeholder management okay in our ba world in our ba world we have a nine type of stakeholders and we divide them in the animal format we have a hippo we have a rabbit we have a eagle we have a lion we have a cat we have a i guess a two or more are there so it is important for a ba to understand the stakeholder very priorly this is what the ba do and now if i put ba plus bpc combined it means i need to be understand all these things plus to be understand my platform as well 
so that I can do a very good consulting to my customers instead of just saying, okay, not okay, okay, I am writing these requirements, not as that, that part. So if I am working as a BPC, it means I am working as a BA as well. BPC is very fancy word. Looks, oh my God, because it has a word called consultant in the last. And when you say consultant, oh my God, you're a consultant. It's, it's always, always, always give a very, very powerful word there. Okay, so like I'm working as a dev lead. But if you say that I'm working as a dev, I'm, I'm working as an architect. Still you're doing the same work. But how the defense make, how this word make a difference, this is the same thing is here. So as a BA, I'm working all these things. I understand my requirement. I understand my stakeholders. I gather the requirement. I document the requirement. And to do this part, I need to understand my platform as well. So this is what the term come here. Okay, so we need to be like uh, BA plus BPC in service now yes. mostly. Okay. Yes, and that is the reason I call it a techno function. Okay. Because if you know the technical as well, then you can do the technical writing. Because as a BA, you have to be write a story in the technical terms. So that my see, story will not develop by the customer. Story right. will be developed by my technical teams. Technical. They don't know that they don't they not understand that what is the button. If you say that I need a UI action with the name this, they understand quickly. But customer will understand only the button or the UI actions. Yep. Great, great. Amazing insights. Okay, so with this, uh, we come to the last question, though I think it's already answered. But uh, <laughs> how these roles are complementing service now? Mm. See, as I, as I say earlier, that Every rule, I'm not saying that only these rules, every rule in service now is required. I, I, if you, maybe um, many people don't know that I work as a support guy. I work as a developer as well for the six to eight months. I work as a tester as well. Okay. And then I landed in the process domain. Okay. By working in these three, four domains, in these three, four roles, I understand one thing. Every role is important. Generally, we say, hey, you are a tester, what are you are doing? You have to just run the test cases. But when I work as a tester, I come to know that how hard it is. When my developer just make a single dot, I have to be run the complete test case. Mm -hmm. This is the painful right. area, right? Even though I know as a tester, it's not going to impact anything, but still to pass the test case, I have to be do, do the complete test, test. So I, I remember there was a release we are doing. I was in Accenture that time. So we're doing a release. It was a complete night that work has been done. In the morning, 5.30, something break. Developer tech, I take half an hour to fix it. He fix it, then build has been done. Then I need to test it. I have to wait for the one hour just to see that they only add one parameter only. So I have to wait for this part. So now if I come to the service or the build, from this perspective, yes. BA or PPC role are equally important <clears throat> with the roles like we have architects, we have a mm -hmm. tester, or we have a developer. Okay. Also, one more question, one more point. If you are going for an interview, like I go, I in three or four years back, I appeared for a lot of interviews. I was looking for the job as well that time. Generally, this question has been asked to me: why we need a BA in the project? Simply they ask, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, please. Because for the companies, you are an overhead. As a BA, you are an overhead. Because you, you never do the technical terms. Your job can be replaced by any other person. As well. But if you clearly say, I said, okay. You, you know that, you, you don't know that why I, you, I, you need as a BA. I tell you one thing. Bring your architect and tell them, go and get the requirements and send me as a BA and ask them to go and get a requirement. You will see the difference. Generally, our in, in our PI planning specifically and our requirement gathering sessions, customer very clearly says sometimes, I don't need any technical person in that domain, in that room. Because as soon as a technical guy come in the picture, he start using technical jargons. He start using technical words. He start discussing about the technical solutioning that part. In the requirement gathering, in the PI planning, we never do the technical discussions. This is what is the BA is required here. 
because we know that i have not allowed i'm not allowed to be talk anything for the technical i'm not about worried about the anything of the solutioning part for solution okay. i have very big people in 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 the background they can do anything they can build anything people people ask that atul what we can build in service now and i say what do you want to build in service now there is nothing impossible which you cannot build if i remove the world word called the limitations you can build anything you can build a complete virtual environment which can take you to the moon as well is it not possible it is possible the only thing is that being a consultant being a architect we say no it is a technical debt if i remove this word technical debt we have a lot of technical people who can build anything in the service you just imagine it can be done this is what is required because i as a ba need to be go and discuss the customer in their own language there is a saying in english only the bearer know where the shoe pinches don't 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 be surprised that i know a lot of proverbs of english no this is the only proverb which i remember because in one of the class i i heard this okay only the bearer know where the shoe pinches only you as a consultant you as a business analyst know that why or what problem customer is having again one more point is there that if if i as a ba i as a business process consultant i have to be asked few basic questions to my customers number 1 why you need this i tell you i give one example i was in a workshop okay in a workshop and it was a my financial client not not it is for telecom client but they are implementing the capex and opex okay so the customer says i need a report in service now i said okay we can do it okay just say i said just say yes we can do it because i know reporting is available in service you will not believe he give me a half day demo that how they build a report can what you imagine want? what what no how how the current system how the current report is working oh okay it the took half picture. day yes okay. half day it take to them to explain us that what this report do and how they use this report i said okay good very good very complicated i have two or three questions number one how frequently you use this report in a in a year you know what was the answer we use only once in a year okay i said okay very nice now i say see boss for the one year mm. you have to wait at least one year for the testing are you are you able to afford that much cost because i have to be put a person on the on the on the track right for the one year if today i get this report and and the end of the year you run this report and you find some issues you have to wait for the complete year to go for the again testing he said yes agree on that but i can't afford that which cost so what we did in that case we divide the report in the segments and we say okay you use your report as it is but out of this 30% i can automate in the in the service now and i can give you in the output format and you can use it in excel sheets then the customer get agreed so that efforts become only for the five days efforts for me this is what as a ba we ask why you need it number one part because customer say i need it it, it doesn't mean i need it no that's very very wrong perspective i need it okay it's your business requirement i can understand but what value it will bring second part if you will not use this step you're not able to complete your work or it is some a legal foundation regulatory frameworks then i can understand yes we need it i there is no no question on that particular point third part how frequently and how many users are going to be used this right if i say let's say in the house you are four people you your wife and your two kids you know that in the house only your only kid eat the chocolate ice cream you will not bring chocolate ice cream every week rest of the people eat mango ice cream so what do you say nahi 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 yaar only one person is eating let's not take it let's take a mango because it can be done used by the everybody right because you understand that it is not that much worth it what it is not like you can't you can't buy it the what is that if you buy chocolate ice cream only one person will eat it may impact the health of that particular person because he or she know that i am the only one who need to be come finish this complete box now but a okay. utilization of resources correct 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 because these things tell you the benefits 
and we always see the efforts and the usage analysis as well. Someone say cost and benefit analysis as well. That how much effort I'm putting it. <laughs> so with the same example of the reporting, one year report is has been separate, uh, segregated and we converted 30, 20, 30 percent in the automation part. This is what we as a BA do because my technical team says, Atul, not possible to build a whole report. Even I know that not possible to build a whole report. But when we break it, then it is easy for us to be build that particular report. So this is what a BA need to be do. And when you do the when you add service now flavor on the top, it become a consulting as well. So that is the reason I can say that BA or a BPC or BA BPC or BA and BPC, all the roles are equally important in the service not domain at point of time. Not in the service not domain. If you go and check other technologies as well. Pick up the Salesforce, SAP. Companies are hiring a specific person for this particular part because they know that if the developer will do this work, then when he will do his own work. In one of my organization, it was not allowed to book more than two hours of a developer in a day for the meetings. Because okay. if he will be in the meetings, then when he will do his own work. But as wow. a BA, I always in the meetings. If they have an issue, they let me know. I'll go to the customer and talk to them. If I need them for the technical understanding, then only I bring them. Otherwise, it's not allowed to be used. Be a, so no, not to involve developers more than two hours in a meeting. And that two hours also uh, segregated in 15 minutes for the send up, 15 minutes for the clarification. And as one and a half hour, they can do their internal discussions, but not discussion with any client or the B on that. Place. So this is what the rule says here. <clears throat> great, great. Amazing. Uh, so, well, uh, despite your bad thought, you have provided such a valuable sessions for everyone. And, uh, you. you know, those people who are thinking to move away from technical a bit, so they have, you know, strong uh, message from you right now that uh, BA, BPC and both these roles are as much important and it is growing. Right. Market yes. and demand is growing rapidly. So, all those people uh, who want to do that, please follow Atul as well. He has a number of, you know, sessions. He has a group also, so you can join him. I will provide the link in the description. He has his own YouTube channel as well. So I'll provide yeah. all these links as well. And again, Atul, uh, thank you so much for giving all such information and with such a short notice. Thank you. Thank, thanks, Omendra. But again, let's go back to the tradition. Let's yes, thanks to God, even though I'm not completely well, but still he gave me a power to, to share the experience and knowledge with everybody. Definitely. So everybody just at the end, don't get disheartened because Atul Grover is a pure consultant. I don't know about the coding. The only thing is that if you know the platform, you can become the consultant, you can become the business process analyst and you can become the business analyst. Still easily, I'll not say easy, smooth walk, easy walk. You can still try in that hands and you can become that particular part. Give a try, understand the things, Challenge the requirements and then you can do your work very easily on that particular point. This is what my last thoughts here. That's great. <clears throat> great. Thank you so much, Atul. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank yeah. Bye-bye.